Hello, Carrie here. I thought I'd show you some of my uh, portraits that I've been doing. I started off in October 2018 and my drawing's quite poor at the beginning. So um, I decided to concentrate a little bit on portraits. So this, this sketchbook is very experimental <laughs> and the portraits are not very good. So you can see where I did some hands, print, uh, practiced with some hands as well. That's dreadful. I looked at the Riley method drew those out, it's quite an interesting method, did some practice with those and then I begin to just do, do some practice of faces, you can see they're not right, that's a little bit better, I did some watercolour with that one and I just did some practice pretend heads, um, I just sewed these pages, I think I'd intended to go in with uh, acrylics, that's watercolour, that's just graphite pencil. I did a poppy, <laughs> that one I quite like. I like the, nose, the noses, ears and eyes that I've included on the left there. Some odds and ends there, that's me on the left. Something in between there, oh yes I practiced on my skull, I've got a little skull here that I practiced on. That's a little bit small. So I'm getting a bit better. I think the eyes aren't quite right. I'm experimenting with colours as well. Love that one. Love that one too. That's a Grecian head. So they are gradually getting a bit better. That's just the outline there. I'd have tried to stop myself from only doing women as well. That statue. Those, I think I attempt to do some made up ones, but I'm still not able to do that very well. That's my niece and my cat in watercolor. Skull in watercolour. That's a dreadful one of me. <laughs> That's a watercolour. That is also a watercolour. That's pastel. And that's pastel as well. So there's gradual improvement as I've gone along. So I finished that sketchbook. And then the next one I've got is just uh, one of these light, uh, small ones. I think I started off doing some experiments, trying to make up faces. You can tell when I've tried to make them up because they're dreadful. <laughs> That's just outline. Again, just outline. Very smudged there. That's a watercolour. That's pencil, colour pencil. Didn't finish that one. That's, oh, that's, pan that's just graphite pencil. That's an outline. I think I intended to paint that. I can't remember what I was doing. Maybe I was just doing the one line thing. That's a pastel. That's graphite. That's a woman in a cafe. That was a made up one. You can tell. That's not turned out very well. That's another made up one. You can tell. That's another made up one. So you can tell they're not right. That's a proper one. That's what pencil was that? A sanguine pencil. I do like that pencil for faces actually. So that's the end of that book. So I've got some loose ones that I've done on pastel paper with pastels. There's this one, I love that. And there's this one. I think there's some more in this book. It's great for gouache as well, this book. That's a pencil one. That's gra Oh no, that's pastel. Or charcoal. Charcoal. This down here is... I think that's coloured pencil. That's gouache. There we go. That's gouache as well. I think there's another one. Yep, yeah, there she is. And that's another gouache one. So I was just beginning to experiment with colour. I love that one, to be honest. So, um, so I've I started another sketchbook, which I haven't finished. 
and it's this one it's larger slightly larger I think that's a made up one that's also a made up one they are getting better and that's not that's now I'm using the graphite tint pencils oh my gosh they're lovely Derwent graphite tint pencils gorgeous that's graphite tint as well but it didn't actually um, do anything with it so I just loved it at that stage and left it that's graphite tint too that's graphite pencil that's graphite I do believe so is that and that see they are getting a bit better now that's a very rough pencil one that's pencil a lot of them are pencil in this another pencil one so I worked on these over several days uh, several days I think it was uh, uh, six months of work that's colored pencil this is graphite and I was experimenting with uh, various ideas and in fact there's a few of these sort of clown ideas I was experimenting with. So that's where I started with the book, that's what I wanted to do actually initially. That's coloured pencil. That's just graphite. I love that one. I love her hair. Graphite again. Graphite. Colour pencil. Graphite. Colour pencil. Graphite. Graphite again more graphite uh, Derwent in, uh, Derwent what are they called graphite tints uh, graphite again graphite again another graphite graphite sanguine pencil uh, gra uh, graphite tints graphite we're at the end there right that's the end of that one so I'm going to come back in a minute with my iPad here we are with the iPad excuse the messy screen I've splash paint on it don't judge uh, that was a purple one I quite like that they're just great fun I, I really enjoyed learning procreate it's so quick and easy I like that one like a ballpoint pen it's experimented with all the pens and brushes you can get with it that I used a bit of color that was just the pencil mm, that was just the pencil I think this was um, an ink pen that's myself like that one I think I used brushes for that love that too look at this one I gave her very bright green eyes to contrast with the red sanguine red at the background this is another ink style one it's quite a challenge that is I liked this one I was experimenting with there's a person on Instagram called Kiela Bonta and I was copying his style I love this one I was trying to forget how he did it that was great as well I enjoyed that one and here are the Kiela Bonta experiments that's a normal one that was good I enjoyed that That was one of my first ones. I spent ages doing that, you could probably tell. I think that was the very first one. 
that took me a while, but I did a lot of learning in that. This was one of my early ones, and I actually scanned in or photographed some background um, collage that I'd done. Oh, this is one of the early ones as well. <laughs> yeah, the hair looks a bit weird. And this is where I was experimenting with that one, using the Kia Labonta style. Love that. She was one of the early ones as well. So what I wanted to be able to do is to figure out a way to use some of these drawings in my mixed media work, particularly the art journals. So what I've done is I've printed out one of my images. Let me show you which one it is. It's this sketchbook. I'll get there. No, not that one. It's the bigger one. It's one of the um, final ones. It's in here somewhere. I'll find it. Oh, there it is. So what I've done is I've um, photographed it and I've printed it out onto tissue paper. I've actually manipulated a bit in uh, Photoshop before doing that to make it a bit darker. Graphite is quite difficult to photograph. So what I do is I get a piece of tissue paper and I get a piece of printing paper. And what I do is I use some glue. And in this case, I'm using this roller glue and I go around the edges then I stick down the tissue and then my printer can cope with it. I've got one of these printers that turns the paper upside down so it needs to be firmly attached, otherwise it will jam in the printer. So once it was printed, I cut it out and stuck it down on the already prepared page in my altered book. And then I painted it on top of the tissue outline. I thought it would make it a bit easier, but to be honest, it was quite difficult. <laughs> it's only small, it's only about two inches high, the actual face, so it's very difficult to get all the detail in. So I'm just finishing it off here. The actual actual recording of the drawing, uh, the painting took too long to include, otherwise this would be a very lengthy video. So if you want me to show the painting, I can do a separate uh, video on that. Although I'm not that pleased with it, to be honest. I mean, it's all right, but it's not my best. <laughs> um, anyway, it was an experiment. I wanted to know whether this would work. I'm not convinced it did, to be honest, but hey ho, got to learn these things. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Bye.